I think it's safe to say that most of us are using our iPhones to take our photos these days. And we are constantly searching for the best way to organize and access our photos through the Project Life app. Memory keepers use apps like Dropbox, Google Photos, or Utiful to organize and store their photos in. But I gotta tell you, when it comes to organizing, and I use the term organizing very, very lightly, I just stick with the Photos app, also known as your camera roll. The main reason I use the Photos app is that the Project Life app was built to make creating pages simple. With that in mind, it makes sense to me that the easiest place to grab a photo to place in your layout is directly from your camera roll, your Photos app. Now I know I can store photos in Dropbox and access them through the app, or I can grab photos from somewhere else in the cloud, but why? I just don't feel the need to add an extra step of jumping from app to app just to find my photo. In addition, I'm confident knowing that all of my photos are at a high resolution when I grab my photos from the Photos app because I keep my originals on my device. I don't have to worry if other apps are keeping them at a lower resolution or anything like that. Now, I do have my other system for backing up my photos, um, and I know people use Dropbox or Google Photos or Utiful to do that, um, but, you know, I back up to iCloud and I back up to Backblaze. Um, so that's a totally different topic, but, um, you know, I, I know that many of you guys use Dropbox or Google, you know, for backups and everything, and you like to grab your photos from there, but... Um, I just like sticking with the Photos app and I'm going to show you how I do it. I tend to organize my pictures within Photos right before I need them. So I need to create folders or albums within Photos for week one, week two, or by month if I was scrapbooking in a monthly format, and bring up all the pictures which fall in that particular time frame and place the ones I'm going to scrapbook in their respective folders. It's nothing fancy, it's just a process that works for me. And what I want to do is walk you through what I do here before I even get to the Project Life app to start to create my pages. Um, once we walk through this together, then we will work on some pages. So I thought I would go ahead and work on a few pages for the month of July 2017. I still have yet to finish my 2017 album, and in this particular year, I changed things up a bit and decided to scrapbook in a monthly format instead of a weekly. I just finished up my June pages a few weeks ago, and now it's time to move on to July. So I'm going to open up my Photos app, which is right here in my dock, and I want to make sure that I am in the album section. And to make sure that I'm there, I can see that my albums down here, that section is highlighted, so I know I'm in my album section. It also says I'm in albums right up here at the top of the screen. Okay. Next, I'm going to tap the plus sign, which is right here at the very top in the upper left-hand corner. And I'm going to create a new album. Okay, I'm going to give my album a name. It's going to be called July 2017. And I'm going to tap Save. Now, what this next screen is doing is that it is prompting me to place photos in this album. Now I can scroll through countless photos until I get to those from July of 2017, but I'm going to do a search for them instead. So I'm going to tap done up here in the upper right. I'm going to tap done and I'm back at my album screen and you can see down here Right here where it says my albums, I have an empty July 2017 album, okay? But now I'm going to search for photos in this time frame. I'm going to come up here and tap the little magnifying glass, and I am prompted to search for photos. So I'm going to type in July 2017, and you can see that I have two options here. It's by date, and there's 366 photos that I can search for, or by album. Now, this is the album we just created, this right here, and there's no photos in there. So I'm going to select the July 27 date option. All right, and then all of those photos that appear or that fall in that time frame will be on this screen. So what I'm going to do 
is, um, first of all, I need to let you know that I have to be totally transparent here and tell you that I am pretty bad at deleting my photos and it's not that I'm afraid of losing pictures. I'm just a little lazy and a lot of times many of the, these photos that you're going to see really aren't photos that I'm going to scrapbook. They may be JPEGs for social media posts. They may be page layouts that I exported from the app. Um, you know, they could be photos exported from other apps that were edited, maybe put text on them or anything like that. But um, anyways, we're going to come back here and select photos to be placed into um, my July 2017 album. So I'm in order to do so, all you want to do is tap the select option here in the upper right hand corner. And you just go through your photos and you tap on them. So I know I want this one of Zoe um, and the mural. Now a lot of these pictures that I'm going to be scrapbooking for July are from a getaway weekend that my husband and I took to Sanibel and Captiva Island. Um, so some of them I already have favorited because they were easier to favorite and find them to post on social media. So I'm just going to tap through some the majority of these. Um, let's see, I've got a salad. There's me, my husband. Let's see, I've got some cheesecake going on. Um, I want this one. Um, I believe I want this one. Uh, sometimes now here in this in this case, um, I have several of the same photo, like this thunderstorm here. So I'm going to show you what I do here. I'm going to quickly add these the photos that I had already selected. I'm going to add them to my album, and when we do this, we're going to come over here to the upper left and select Add to, and you just tap on the album that you want to add those photos to. So I'm going to tap on July 2017 and those photos are now in that album. And then you're brought back to your July 2017 search. Now you can see I have some photos here that look the same and it's of this thunderstorm. So I'm going to tap on there. Notice I didn't have the select button chosen. And you know, they're pretty much the same photo. Actually, one has people in it toward the front and the other doesn't. So, whoop. So what I want to do is come back here. And I know it was the second photo that was selected. Um, so I'm going to come up here, tap select. And I know that is the photo that I want to place in my album. Um, let's see. What other pictures did I want to put in here? Um... I think I have a good one of my seashell that I absolutely love. Um, there's another one of Captiva, the beach. Um, one of this wonderful salted caramel ice cream. I think I have one of a trail. I think I already put that one up there. Um, and then we're, let's see, I love this sandbar. Oh, let me select that one. And let's see, I have a couple of, let's see, there's me and my bestie, and I know there's one of us on the boat somewhere. Where did it go? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Right there. It was right next to it. Um, let's see, this one. I have one of Dustin and Dino. I love it when my kids who live on opposite coasts, they send me pictures every once in a while, and I do try to include those in my albums, too. Um, we're going to go with this picture of Zoe. Um, let's see. And then I think I have some baseball pictures down here. I have um, a picture of some friends at work. What other ones am I going to put in here? Um, so I have me and my husband and a friend. 
and I think that's about it. So I'm going to add those to my July 2017 album. And I'm going to back out of my search by tapping on that search there. And then I'm going to cancel. Okay, so I'm back to my albums page. And you can see down here in my July 2017 album, I now have 29 photos in that album that I am going to scrapbook. Now if I am scrapbooking in a weekly format, which I am in 2018, the way I navigate the Photos app to select photos for my layouts is just a little bit different. I want to show you a little trick you may not know about on how to figure out the dates for any particular week during the year. So let's back out of Photos, and we're going to come up here to Settings. And I want you to find the settings for your calendar, which is right here. I'm going to tap on that. Notice the screen changes here on my right, and you have some options here. Come down to Week Numbers. I want you to toggle this on, and you can even start your week on a different day than Sunday. Um, if you tap here, Start Week On, you can choose any day of the week you want to start your week on. Now, when I scrapbook in a weekly format, my weeks do start on a Monday, but I do not change that here in my calendar because, you know, here in the U.S., our weeks go from Sunday to Saturday, and if I was to change that on my calendar, that is just, that's going to screw me up. So, um, but I know in the Project Life app, you know, since I am scrapbooking in a weekly format, I, I know how to um, figure out my dates, and I'm going to show you what I mean. All right, so let's back out of our calendar, and then we're going to come up here to the calendar app itself. And I want to show you what this did. So see these little numbers here on my Sunday, those little tiny numbers? That designates what week we are in of the year. So here, March 4th, it's a Sunday, so March 4th through March 10th, is week 10. And week 10 are photos that I'm going to be putting in a, a new um, album in the Photos app. But I know that my week will start on a Monday, so I'm going to search for photos in a range from Monday, um, March 5th through Sunday, March 11th. Okay? I'm just going to write that down real quick so I don't forget. And we're going to back out of here and open up our Photos app once again. And instead of viewing my photos by albums, I am going to view them by photos instead. So I'm going to tap here, down here on the Photos icon, and you can see from the top up here, I am in Moments. And when you scroll through, look over to the left and look at how these are divided up. These are divided up by dates. So I'm just going to scroll up until I find March 5th, if I took anything, if I took any photos on March 5th. I'm almost there. 9th. Okay, so you can see anything from March 5th, I really am not going to be scrapbooking because these are, you know, they're exported pages, they're stuff from Instagram, there's, you know, a whole bunch of other things that really are not uh, going to go in a scrapbook. But I do have some photos here from March 6th, and I'm going to tap Select here at the top. And I'm I'm just gonna throw all of these in in my in my folder. I don't want to have I don't want to take the time right now and look at each one individually. Uh, same thing with this yummy dinner. I'm gonna select those. We're still in March sixth, March seventh. Um, I took these pictures of an offspring that were was on the mast of our sailboat. So I'll just select a vertical and a horizontal. Let's scroll through. Oh, and I have some fun pictures of the pets. So 
again, I'm going to choose those. I have a little picture of Zoe here with her getting some attention from Chris. Select one of those, maybe one or two of those. March 10th. Ooh, pretty sunrise. Pretty sunrise over the canal. Let me select that one. Um, what else do I have going on here? Oh, we have cocktail hour, it looks like. March 10th. Um, select a, let's see. We'll go with this one. I have some dinner photos from that night. And also photos from a visit to a, an Italian market in St. Petersburg. Okay, I'm gonna go, I will probably take more time and go through those photos, but um, I just want to show you how these can be now added to a new album. So I have photos selected. I'm going to come up here to the upper left and select Add To. And now I can create a new album from right here. So I will tap on New Album here. And this is going to be Week 10. And I'm going to save it. Now all of those pictures that I have selected, tap on Albums you can see that I have a new week 10 album right here in my album section. Now before I go into Project Life and start creating my pages for week 10, I will probably come back to this album, take some of these pictures out that are duplicates. I will go back and visit those pictures from that Italian market, add some more pictures into this album, and um, you know, then I'll then I'll get to work on creating pages for week 10. I just wanted to share with you uh, just my very loosely organization process before I even start to scrapbook my pages. So now that I have the photos in the album within the Photos app, we're going to start to build some pages.